Welcome to this unidentified channel. Today we are going to go over some of the events that have happened in the Chad Daybell and Lori Daybell case and we're starting right now. The last thing that I have seen is where Nate Eaton sent a letter to Judge Stephen Boyce requesting live broadcasting in the courtroom during the Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow Daybell trial in January. As of this moment that I'm making this video, we don't know if that's going to happen yet. I haven't heard an answer, but I can't wait to find out if there will be live cameras in the courtroom. Nate mentioned in his post that he wasn't sure as the last time they were in court, they had to record it and then put it out. They couldn't do a live stream, so we'll see what happens. What do you think? Do you think they're going to be able to have the live cameras? Do you think we're going to be able to see it after the fact, or will we be able to see it at all? I would love to know your opinion on that before the answer actually comes out, so let me know what you think. In Nate's letter to the judge, he goes over some of the reasons why he believes it would be necessary to have a live stream in the courtroom, and it talks about how hard it was to distribute the video footage of the last hearing or arraignment to all the media outlets that requested it. He talks about how hard it would be to allow all the media outlets inside the courtroom with their cameras to record and then be able to distribute that out to the people as well whereas a live stream would eliminate all of that fingers crossed we get a live stream but tell me what you think we also have found out that the trials will be held together in January 2023 Lori's trial has been bumped to the original dates of Chad's in January of 2023. They are going outside of her six month request for speedy trial. The judge gave some reasons as to why he thought that would be the correct decision to make with the situation that we have as we don't want to sever the cases. They should be tried together. I feel like he made a great decision on that. Do you feel like he did or do you feel like he is violating her rights? I know the lawyers for Lori are enjoying the extra time to prepare, but Lori didn't seem to mind prior to the decision that her lawyers needed a little more time or it would be helpful to them to have a little more time. But what do you think? I like it. January's coming up. We're already in June. It's going to be here before you know it. There's still so much we don't know. As far as I know, there are no other scheduled things coming up. There no motions have been filed. Or June 9th just passed, which was the anniversary that J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan were found buried in Chad Daybell's backyard. Yeah, 2020. 2020. We are going into 2023 and these children were missing at the end of 2019. So you got 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23. We're going on four years. Well, 2030 would be the end of 23. So yeah, in September of 2022, which is just in a few months, it will be three years since Tylee Ryan and JJ Vallow went missing. I just cannot believe how the time is just flying by so quickly. It is unbelievable to me. Okay, I'm going to wrap up for now. We'll just have to see what Judge Stephen Boyce will allow in the courtroom. Will he allow the live stream? Or will he allow a recorded version? Or will he not allow the cameras at all? Tell me what you think. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you haven't already, let me know where you're watching from and I will see you next time. I would love to know. I would love to know what your thoughts on that are. So we have those two things that have recently come out and that is, so we have those two things that have recently come out that over the past few months um, or six months but the judge gave some reasons as to why he as 
Also, since the last time I have been, um, he did mention in his post, um, we'll just have to see what Judge Steve, we'll just have to see what Judge Stephen Boyce will allow. We'll just have to see what Judge Stephen Boyce will allow in the court. Yeah. We'll just, and how hard it would be for everybody to be allowed in with court. Recently, or um, as far, uh, all right, well. Get that back up there. Didn't seem to mind 